I'm in the project called Classroom BIM Example Load Families. What I want to do is just show you how you can get content that exists outside of your project and bring it in. Typically in an office your BIM manager might have made templates that include pre-configured views and existing content that you'll be able to see down under the, the families. Um, however, there are occasions when you either need to make your own or load families from outside of the project into your project. So what I want to do is just point out how you typically load uh, a family. Uh, for examples like doors and windows which are loadable families, unlike say a wall which is a system family and can only exist inside your project, for a door and a window um, if you click on the command, you'll see the option that says Load Families. It'll take you to the Imperial Library folder, and you would scroll down and look for the folder containing doors. You can then pick on a, a door a family, and if you use the down arrow, you can move through to see the options that are available to you. You can use uh, Control to pick multiple doors from the list. If you hold control down and pick them or if you use the shift key between one and another you can make a multiple selection but you can bring in more than one door at a, at a time you don't have to load them one at a time for options that aren't doors and windows there's kind of a catch-all where components can be brought in and components is kind of a general category so if you were to pick on components and you said load family, it's other other items that are in here. I'm going to use the example of uh, furniture, but there's also uh, electrical equipment a category uh, that uh, is kind of general, which is called entourage, which is like cars and people. But I can move down through this and I could make my selection of furniture. Okay, this is uh, where I'm looking for shelving for my classroom. So I'm going to pick on shelving. I'm just going to take this one family and bring it in. So when I bring it in, now it's Im immediately available to me. There's actually under here just the one type. Right? So I can take that family, bring it out here. If I hit the space bar as I bring it in, you see I can actually turn it. If I hold it out there you see it turns by 90 degrees but I can bring this in and I'm just going to drop this um, onto the mezzanine we'll, later on we'll look at some other options but I'm just going to drop it in here and it, what I want you to see is that the uh, this family is not completely obscuring the pattern that's on the floor so there are a couple of issues that I'll address when we get to the, the the next environment that we want to look at, which is the family editor. And I'll show you how you can make the families so that they display in 3D when you're in a 3D view, but in a 2D view they actually hide patterns and you only use a, a 2D geometry instead of 3D. That'll save your system resources. It means that uh, they won't be interpreting a 3D model in a top view, they'll be actually just showing 2D geometry. So that's our that's gonna be our next topic.